again with the last summer packing videos before we head to Germany tomorrow. So today I'm going to show you what I'm taking on board the plane. So I have two bags. I have a backpack, which Kevin will use actually during the day as his day pack. He's taking on board a laptop bag with all technology and whatnot in it, but he'll use this one as a day bag when we're over there. And my other one tried to escape on the floor. And that's this bag. And this will be my day bag when we're over there traveling around. So we'll be taking them both onto the plane because you're allowed to take one on board bag and one handbag. So this is my handbag. Watch this. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I have in here. So attached, you will see <laughs> my neck pillow. If I can sort of squeeze it in the top of the bag, I might do that, but otherwise I'll just hang it on the side. Inside, I'll just put it down in front of me. It's got your getting packed and I have to pull it out just to show you guys. Anyway, <laughs> I have, I've not in there yet, but with my laptop in there. Um, not my laptop, my iPad will be in there. So that goes in, it's a padded case because I wasn't sure which bag. And that also fits into the black bag as well. So if I find I want to, because on the plane I'm probably going to send the black bag at my feet and this, the, obviously the backpack will go up in the overhead bins. So I might transfer the laptop, the iPad, <laughs> into the black bag. So I also have in there my Kindle to read. And again, they can both transfer as well. And I have some noise, hand, noise cancelling headphones which are really bulky, traveling with around the 30 teenagers. So we might want to block out the sound. So I've got them. In there I have some socks. As soon as I go on the plane, I always kick off my shoes, which usually is a slip on shoe and I'll put some socks on, which come with free dog fur. <laughs> so, and I'll put them on from the plane. The bottom of my bag, I won't get out, is my jacket. Uh, you would have seen that, I have a black jacket. That's in the bottom of the bag in case it's cold on the plane. I'm thinking I'll probably manage. I'm wearing a three quarter top. It's only a light, but a three quarter top with blankets. But if it is cold, that's in there. And then I have, this is my sort of on bag, on bag essentials. They're all in here. And this is the one I'll get out. I have just got a lot of liquids, but there's a few in here. And this is the one I'll get out and they can scan through if they need to, because you can see everything in it. So, I'll pull everything out just for you guys. So I've got an eye, an eye mask. Is it an eye mask? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you get them on the plane, sometimes not. So, and I've got a pretty one, so I'll just take my own now. <laughs> I've got some of these Verbena refreshing towelettes for hands and body from L'Occitane. So those I just wipe over my face. So I'm feeling like a bit of, a bit of refreshment <laughs> along the flight. So they're good. Plus they're also clean, obviously. Yeah, on the face or whatever. I've got that. I also take uh, a, what they call it, an essential face water, which is just a little water, just to spritz on my face again to refresh and hydrate. I have a hand sanitizer, and this one's only half full, so I think I'll go and grab myself a full one to take. That's one of my Bath and Body Works ones from the States. I have some, I'm not sure I'm going to take, uh, I'll leave them in the bag. At least they're the, the, Kevin Reckons are a load of hogwash, but. I found they helped once when I had a sinus infection, the little um, air pressure balancing earplugs. So I'll probably just keep them in there and I guess if I did have any sinus problems or whatever, I've got them. Some eye drops, don't tend to need them very often, but sometimes on the plane your eyes do get a bit dry out. I used to use them more when I wore contacts. So I have um, an hydrating moisturizer. This is the Clinique one I bought in America. Tissues, again, I obviously need to Throw another couple of packs of tissues in my bag, I think. And I have a little <laughs> toothbrush and toothpaste that I never know where I got that from. But anyway, it's still toothpaste in it, so I'll use it this trip if we're not provided with some. I think we're flying Thai Airlines, I think, and I really don't know what they have. So, an organic hand cream, definitely need a hand cream because you really do dry out on the plane. And I've got two hair ties. So that will go come out and go through a scanner for your clear, maybe I'll just take your clear product, clear liquids. I've also got in here, also in the backpack, another little makeup bag. Because you watched the other video, I explained that when we get to Rottenburg in Germany, we're dropping our, our bags off at the accommodation and heading straight out to explore the city. So 
I'm, I'm guessing they look pretty, I usually look pretty shocking and oh, you know I haven't got in here? Deodorant. Need to put a deodorant in here. That's really important. <laughs> After a long flight. Maybe some, per oh, I've got the perfume, I just haven't got the deodorant. Okay, note to self, remember deodorant. So I've got a little perfume in here. Again, I wouldn't normally have this, but because of this trip we're traveling, I have. So I've got in here uh, my nude BB cream, just to give a little bit of a color and a complexion tidy up, I guess. I've got a blusher. I've taken my brushes out to get in the wash, but they've got to come back in. An eyeshadow, so I'm just taking this one that's a really easy sort of all-in-one. I've got a lipstick, one of my lipsticks that I've picked out, and my eyeliner. So I have, I've just had my eyebrows and eyelashes tinted, so I don't need to worry about anything for those at this stage. I've also got here my nail file. It would normally, yeah, will go in my day bag, I guess. I usually have that. It's um, one of these crystal ones. So it's a really good quality nail file. But I like that it's come in this little case, that's great. And I've just got another lip balm here. This is a soft lips in the raspberry because you can't really have enough lip products, especially when you're traveling in the plane. So I'll probably, yes, yeah, so I've got one, <laughs> one in each of those. So when, I, when it comes time to go and do my makeup before we get off the plane, I'll just grab this. So I'll stick the deodorant in here. I'll probably have to take both of them actually because the moisturizer will be in the other one, but this will stay in my bag probably to the very end of the flight. Um, what else have we got in here? We have, well this doesn't need to be in here, but I'll probably leave it in here because I, might, I want, might want the first day out, so just a little um, stand for my camera. If my camera's not in here, it will come in here as well, as will the video camera that's being used right now. They'll both go in, in this bag, or actually they'll probably go in the black bag. So, I've got, But I've got my little stand if I want to pop it onto anything, so I'll probably put that in the black bag. Got a couple of little snacks. This is an emergency trail mix, but that's just a real emergency one. And there's carabiners in here for when Kevin has the bag and we're over there. So that's all I have in the backpack. The black bag. I'm going to have this. <laughs> I just showed you that. And it's a really, it's not a particularly attractive bag, but I've been looking for a replacement um, travel bag for a while. And I just bought this, it only came a few days ago. And it's really good, it's got lots of pockets. It's, it's called the departure bag. So it's designed for airports and <laughs> travel. So uh, it's in a really good bag. I still might keep a look out for a, a nice prettier bag. More girly bags is very um, unisex over there. And because it wasn't very much, I think it was $30, I might just decide to leave it behind. Or I don't know. It um, seems to be quite good. So it's got lots of pockets, lots of sections in the back pocket. I've just, I think, got one letter from my doctor for my medicine, which also isn't in here to my medicine. Two other things I've got to come in, my pain meds and some Panadol, Panadine. So a few things I need to pop in here still. It's really got to be on the ball when you're packing. <laughs> so the next section opens right up and you can see this is a really wide section. That's what I like about this bag, it is a great bag. So I've just popped in my spare little earbuds. I really don't like these, these hurt my ears. I've, I think I've got very small ears, but in a pinch I can use them. In this mesh part that you can see here, I've got another pack of tissues. Very few, as I'm handing them body wipes, there's only a few in there. And I've got a handful of these lens cleaners. Because I said, we might just even take this out when we get to Rottenburg probably. And a little Dynamo to go stain remover which I didn't know I had, and I found that, so that's perfect. So if I get any stains, I can fix them up as we go. There's some little pockets there that you can see. So I've got my Clexane, which is um, a blood thinner that I take. I've got to do one shortly, and then I'll take and do another one just before getting on the plane. It just basically thins my blood to help present, prevent another blood clot, because I had a blood clot 14 years ago, just after the birth of my first daughter, just after, two weeks after, just two weeks old. A pen, so I have to be careful on a plane and try and get an aisle seat so I can get up and down and um, whatnot. My phone, so they're all in those little pockets there, and then a little divider behind that. And you see, everything's really easy to get to, really, it's going to be a brilliant bag. I've got Christy's purse, <laughs> I didn't want to take my big purse, and I've been looking for a little one, but I haven't found one that I like, so I'm just going to take Christy's. I said, this has got credit cards in it, 
I don't tend to end up carrying a lot of cash on a holiday because Kevin tends to do a lot of paying for stuff um, and if I do I tend to use a credit card so I just wanted to take a little purse I could probably even go smaller and she was ready to donate this so I thought I'll take that and then when I find or if I find another one I can just leave that behind and someone else can have it in the main part there's not much in it at the moment I'll buy a bottle of water before going on the plane I know they give you water but I always like to have plenty of water again with the blood clot and dehydration on the plane I like to drink lots so I always take a big bottle on board with me as well plus any time I come and offer a drink I grab one so that's why I'm up and down to the toilet all the time and need an aisle seat I've got a little shopping bag I thought it'd be handy just to leave in the bottom of this bag I don't know what Germany are like with bags but I kind of get the impression that they would be very um, into the eco shopping bags um, some Werther's which funny enough come from Germany <laughs> But I just like to take something I can chew or suck on the plane. My ears sometimes muck up on takeoff and landing. And, you know, sometimes you get the munchies. There's also a Luna bar in here. And, I'm, yeah, I was just trying to think. So I'll get the water at the airport and I might pick up something else as well. So they have also got the back pocket, which hasn't got very much in it at the moment. I've just got a little mesh insert. I've got some band-aids, which I've got a, another case, I've got to check what's in here, make sure we've got blister bands, eh? so it's probably the most important. My lens cleaner. And another hair tie. There's hair ties everywhere. Because if I get hot, I like to have my hair tied back. So that is what I am packing on the plane, what I'm taking with me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful if you are travelling or, yeah, if you're travelling soon or travelling in the future. <laughs> I hope it gives you some good ideas. We are pretty well seasoned travellers, but you know, you still always pick up little hints and tricks and things. So, I will sure let you know how that bag goes when I'm over there using it, but I, I think it's going to be a winner. <laughs> okay, all right. I will, I won't talk to you for a while. Okay, <laughs> I meant to note, if you do want to keep up with the trip, I will be doing vlogs, but they'll probably won't be uploading them until I come back. So, I'll put a link to my blog at the bottom of here, and if you go on there, you can find all the places you can find me or you can also on the side one of these sides somewhere on my channel page you can find all my contacts so the best thing to do is to follow my blog I'll be doing a blog post every day lots of photos and talking about what we're up to other than that Facebook just send me a note to say that you watch me on YouTube um, and I'll accept a friend request if I don't know who you are I won't accept a request from you um, I'm also on Twitter and Instagram. So usually what I do is I'll be blogging and then I'll Instagram and from Instagram I share with Facebook and Twitter. So however you want to find me. I'm also going to try and do some keeks. So I did a sample one the other day and I think that would be good because that way I can share little bits of video while we're away. So pretty much everywhere you'll find me under Libby Withnell but do follow the links <laughs> wherever they are. Uh, blog is LibbyWithnell.com so that's the best thing and from there you can sort out how else you want to keep up um, I said Instagram Facebook or Twitter will be updated as I go so and there'll be some kicks so I hope you understood what I'm talking about if you've got any questions or you're not quite sure what I'm talking about <laughs> I've got lots going on in my brain today so I might not be making any sense at all but hopefully I am and I hope you'll follow my trip for three weeks around Germany and then I will see you when I get back with some vlogs from the Germany trip okay I'll talk to you later bye